When performing this technique, pay your attention to the following errors. First, do not perform the technique on your straight legs. There will be no balance to your stance and no power to your moves. Get really down. Knees almost at 90 degrees will provide you with sufficient balance. Next, if something like this happens, it means you've done a very big mistake. You did not relax him and he's still fighting. It is imperative that you deliver a relaxing kick to the knee so that he allows you for one second to pull him forward. To deliver it right, do not kick him like this. There is no power to this move. Raise your knee high, charge it with energy and straighten it into the opponent. Remember this very well. After that, do not return your foot to the same spot it was before. Make a step back, because with the next move you will pull him forward and you need to provide the opponent with the space to be pulled at. Now with the pull. Pull him really hard, because if you don't, this would happen. His arm would be twisted and he will take it away. If you pull him hard, he will make a step and his arm will be perfectly straight. Next. When making a step into him, do not step in front of him. Otherwise, the same thing happens. Hand is twisted, he takes it away. You must make a step into the opponent, placing your foot in between his feet. In that way, it works much better. Finally, the elbow. Do not let your elbow travel close to his hand. Otherwise, it will create friction, will twist the arm, and he will take it away. Make sure that the elbow travels on an as high trajectory as possible. That way, it lands hard on his, and he's in the pain lock at once. Now, about this pain lock. The most common error people do here is when they hold the opponent like this, leaving a space between the arm and the body. Very big mistake, very frequent. Take your arm away, extremely easy. However, if I hold it like this, tightly, take it away, no way. The difference is tremendous. So make sure you do not provide any space between his arm and your body. Keep it really tight. If he resists, press your shoulder into him. Next. When in this position, you keep your body really low, knees almost at 90 degrees. Deliver the relaxing hit to his head so that he doesn't resist over the next half a second when you're wrapping the arm behind his back. When delivering the hit, his wrist must be bent backward and pressed to your body so that he doesn't resist. When wrapping the hand behind his back, do not provide him with any space. Nothing like this. Keep him tight, press the shoulder into your leg tightly and wrap it tightly once again. Very common error here. Do not leave the elbow in front of you. Otherwise, he can escape. Make sure to keep the elbow behind your back. That way you will keep him very firmly. Try to escape. No way. Finally, when you are grabbing him by his neck, do not grab his shoulder like this. Because when you get up, he can try to fight it. Pretty easily. Clench your fist. Put it behind his back. At the shoulder. That way, try to resist. It's much more difficult, basically impossible to take it away. And do not provide him with any space here. Keep him very tight, and he is all yours.